Hello, welcome to Bad at Pad, where Navdakai Me tries to beat Engum Gahan. Today, we are going to be trying a uh, special version of a Descend dungeon for this Halloween season, which is Mind Descended, Assist Invalid. So, any assist monsters, so, you know, this Yomi and this Air have assists on them. So, you can still enter the dungeon. It's just when you enter the dungeon, I think the assists will be like taken off as if they weren't there. And they, won't, they won't actually be taken off your monster. Like, when you come back, you know, they'll still be on there, they just won't show up, and you can't use them during the uh, dungeon. Um, so it's Annihilation, 99 Stamina, you can do this in co-op, I'm gonna do it solo. And, um, one trouble with this dungeon is that there's a lot of hazards, there's a lot of blinds, a lot of bombs spawning, there's some poison spawns, um, so, and a lot of times those resists are, um, you bring, a uh, weapon assist, for those, uh, like Rathian and, you know, you know them all, Odysseus, etc, etc, to resist those, but you can't do that here, so you gotta figure it out. So, my strat is to use Akine, she gets a Super Awakening, which is fine, and she can get Super Awakenings of any full, uh, any, any of those three full hazard resists, so it's, yay. <laughs> yay. Uh, so I'm pairing with a friend who has Blind, I have Jammer, I think another strat you could use, let's just hop into the dungeon. Another strat you could use is you could uh, use Rebo Sun Quan um, on your team. Uh, he has, I believe, a super blind resist awakening on his um, his base uh, as part of his base cast. Yeah, is it Super Rebo or Rebo? I don't know. One of those two. I don't have a Sun Quan, so I can't do that strat. Another strategy you could use is to use uh, the seven star uh, Dragon Knight Zeal um, or Rex. Uh, actually, it's Rex. I misspoke. You know, you can use Rex. He will remove the, um, every two turns you get a time buff, and you can remove, uh, jammers and poisons. Does he work on bombs? I think he works on bombs, I'm actually not sure. Wow, okay, so already we have <laughs> a bunch of these poisons. I had a Rex on this team when I was testing before, and I was like, I don't need it, because I usually, on these first few floors, I usually can kill right away, but, um, I guess Annihilation is no joke so let's uh thankfully i did bring air because i foresaw some healing problems actually switched rex for air though so does it really make a difference in the end now akain as a leader uh i guess for my case here is a little hard to team build where you need to be rainbow cover rainbow attributes and you want gods so this is what i came up with uruka and yom is the main damage dealer yomi is like the second well, the Raijin is just there for for a god, rainbow, orb changer, because I don't have any Kalis. And the air is just here for healing. Because there is a floor that does do a recovery debuff, and I was just like, let's just bring her just in case. Um, yeah, let's see if we can get this done. Air is also good, because there's a floor that needs a follow-up attack, that is a, a skill delay. So she's a pretty, um, she's a uh, pretty accessible... A, uh, what am I saying? I don't know what I'm saying. An accessible heart orb maker. Good old air used in so many teams. There's the max damage. The kind gets uh, times what? Times 20 personal damage, or times 20 for each. So times 400 if you get all six, uh, including hearts. Match all colors and hearts. But it scales from a, a 5 should be an okay amount of damage too. Um, as you can see, they've been trying to do stuff like blind and make bombs and all this stuff. But we are resisting it. This will only kill the one on the left. Unfortunately, uh, we I will not be able to take advantage of Akain's uh, VP active. <laughs> but that's okay. If we can, it would be nice to save hearts at some point, because I think the next floor is actually the one that has the, um, the skill delay into follow-up attack. But we'll go do this for now. Akai doesn't have bad recovery, by the way. She's like, uh, Zella Kitty, or, you know, she has even recovery with her HP in the leader skill. It's just, um, I think none of the monsters here except Air on this team when I when I had it run when I was running this with Rex, um, none of the monsters I was using had particularly good recovery. So I think 
I like I like when the when you um when you match your heal orbs and then like all your HP comes back, like the full bar comes back. So even like anyways, recovery is good. But this team's recovery is good now. Is what I wanted to say. Sorry, it's early, so I'm not I'm not being super coherent with my um, words. Let's see if we can save these hearts. We have all the other colors. Well, I left the attack multiplier thing on. I didn't even realize. <laughs> okay, so we have five heal orbs. One other nice thing about Akain, she has no shield, but she has a ridiculous amount of movement time built into the leader skill. Um, I believe she has plus three seconds uh, per per Halloween, or not per Halloween, per Akain, per, per leader, per leader, that's what I'm trying to say. Three seconds per leader, so, uh, very casual maxing, or matching can occur. Wow, I am not speaking properly today at all. She also has follow-up attack. This is just a giant Akain commercial, I guess. <laughs> Look. Bam, bam. Um, I think, I forgot if I mentioned this, but, uh, oh, here's the re recovery debuff section. Um, this is why, mo part of the reason why I brought air in case I couldn't kill this guy easily through his void damage shield. Um, you will need a time extend buff, or you have to be exceedingly good at comboing for the final floor. It's typical mine stuff. If you've played the mine dungeon before, the time buff is uh, really, really, really nice. So let's see how much this does. It might not do anything, I'm not sure. 10 mil, so it, we hit through some of it. Oh no. That is the last thing I wanted to see. Okay, I didn't know he did that. <laughs> this did not happen in either of the other dungeons. For attackers... I mean, now we have recovery, but now our HP is trash. Thankfully, everyone on this team, it was to a rainbow leader, so at least it's like synergistic. Do we even have attackers? Okay, well now the only real damage dealer is Raijin. That's fun and exciting. No, it's not. <laughs> um, that's okay. Roll with the punches. Our time is same. Why is it the same? Oh, because she increases time too. <laughs> it's, I was like, why isn't the time lower? Not that I'm complaining. I like the high move time. I don't really know what to do with these orbs. I guess with the lower damage we pierce through easier, I don't know. So here's where I'm scared now, because I don't know if we can tank- I don't know how many tank hits we can tank from this- this boss here. We might have to do some, uh, uh, some... I don't know what we have to do. <laughs> this is scary. So there's the time debuff. I don't think she reapplies, so we're gonna pop our Yomi now. I really, really hope she does not reapply. <laughs> I doubt this will kill. I went for the light TPA just to get more damage out of Raijin. Because she has some TPAs, but it's really it's nothing special, the amount that she has. Look, 360. It's so bad. Oh, we have a shield. I didn't even realize. Oh, this kind of balances a kind out a little. Oh no, a cloud. Um. <laughs> oh, four attributes. Interesting. We have a shield, so we can live. I was worried for nothing. Hooray. Uh, let's match at least four attributes. This is, this is four, this isn't four. That's four. Actually, that's six. I mean five. Don't kill me, please. Okay, did not kill. Please, aha! And now they're spinners, so like everything sucks. But you know what, it's fine. I'm gonna pop the Raijin, just to make the- uh, do I want to? I wonder if we can make spinners work for us. I think we can make spinners work for us. Let's do it. The the reds are going to be the most annoying, so I'll just pick one up. The reds are uh, currently not in existence. 
on this board. Uh, we need water somewhere. The kind has a lot of move time. <laughs> That's why that was possible. And it didn't kill, so I'm frightened. I think that was a gravity. Okay, we resisted the bombs. Great. Let me see if that was a gravity. Yeah, that was a gravity. Okay. Let's let's, let's just uh, pop the ride in here and try to kill. <clears throat> if you get her below 20%, she will do an Awoken Bind Clear, but we do have air, so that's fine. Uh... Four hundred. Boom. That took a little longer than I thought it would. <laughs> TBH. TBHQ. Wait, TBQ8. Sorry. It's early. Yay. Uh, this is basic. This is an aside, but mine is a good monster. Um, and you should try to own some. This is this is the right. This is the right mine. This is the good mine. Uh, I spent some time farming these up when it was in a, you know, in a monthly du uh, dungeon, monthly quest dungeon a few months ago, but it's really useful to have a couple of these mines made, especially if you run, primarily if you run double Kuroyuri loop ever. So she's a good monster to have. Uh, you also might want to hold on to one of these. This is another side. If you get this, Pumpkin Joker, you might want to hold on to one, just because those killers are of a nice uh, variety. Yeah, so try, hold, hold on to one of these. I, I'm gonna hold on to exactly one of these. Because I don't feel like holding on to anymore. <laughs> and I already have two mines made, so just get rid of this one too. Two max guild mines. So the rewards for this are pretty nice. Let's see if they came up. Oh yeah, here they are. Um, so we have... In a bunch of males. One, two, three, four, five, six, six Halloween treat bags, gold. And one treat bag rainbow. Um, this is another aside. I don't. I probably talked about this in the Halloween. I just, if in case I didn't, for the uh, in terms of monster exchanges for farmables in uh, this Halloween collab, you want to grab one of these. This is nice. This is a pretty nice for farmables. Say, so blind resist is great for like all end game dungeons, um, and it also has a, a jammer skyfall effect, which is good for overriding problems in end game dungeons. Prob problematic Skyfalls. Um, Hazard Skyfalls, specifically. That are longer than one turn in endgame dungeons. Ramble, ramble, ramble. Um, I think also there were some special things, I think, right? I think the it said... Yeah, so there's some limited time... Nope, that's not the one. There's supposed to be uh, some limited time trades that they put up. Maybe they're not, they're, maybe they're not available yet. Um, but at some point... Let me check the event. Do, 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 do. Checking the Facebook event. Oh, on actual Halloween. Okay, no. Yes. Yeah, on actual on actual Halloween, which is next Thursday, there's going to be um, some uh, trades for uh, rainbow treat bags available, which is the highest tier treat bag, this one. Um, and you get one of these for clearing this mine dungeon. So you can do one-time trades for an ancient Trigod mask, a super snow globe dragon, and the diamond dragon fruit. I'm probably gonna just grab nab a super snow globe at that time. But anyways, that is this dungeon. Um, one small thing to note in terms of other Halloween special dungeons, there is a ranking dungeon, but it got delayed. It's a fixed team ranking, which makes me nervous. It's also a blah blah or fewer type. <laughs> blah blah or fewer orbs remaining type of leader which makes me more nervous actually that's what i heard i'm actually yeah that's what i heard at least so we'll see <laughs> that that dungeon but it got delayed because of the android problems uh that people have been having anyways that's it this is kind of a longish video for a dungeon that i thought would be a little faster anyways thanks for watching see you guys later goodbye